right here in the Mile High City with the man, Mike Alvarado. Thanks for having us back in your city. It's so good to be here. Um, now let's look back quickly at the first fight against Brandon. What did you do after that fight physically and mentally to help prepare you for the type of performance you put on in the second fight? I was ready for that first fight. Uh, it was going my way. I was winning that fight. Um, unfortunately, you know, the ref stopped that fight. I, I don't think, I think he should have gave me a little bit more time. Uh, Rios knew after the end of that fight, going into the second fight, that he didn't deserve that win. But, you know, it was just the type of style that I had, had to learn how to adjust from. Knowing I was fighting Rios again, I, I knew I had to make some adjustments to utilize to, to win that next fight. So, um, making those adjustments in camp was the outcome you know it, it, it showed and, and I proved that you know I could make those type of adjustments everybody didn't think I could was able to put my pride to the side and not stand there and fight with him because that's the only type of style Brandon is is he comes forward and he doesn't stop and he just he's right there for you so um, it was on me to, to stick to my game plan and that's what I did. Yeah, I stuck you, to my game plan, and I won that fight. You absolutely did, and part of that game plan was just, like you said, making the adjustments, not standing there in the pocket with him, but being able to, to box and move, and, and you were able to do that. After that fight, they say, and new, and you get that belt. You know, was that, a, was that the highlight? Was that the moment thus far in your career, probably the, the highest point? It was It was the highest point, you know, knowing I was, I was it, to getting the world title, you know, and I was, I was winning that, you know, and after the long time coming for it and, being through what I've been through and it, working hard for that, it, it was just the moment of my life. It was, it was precious to me. So, you know, I, I loved it, I enjoyed it, and, you know, I miss it. So I'm trying to get back to that point now again. Being that you've been in the ring with Brandon twice and you know his style, kind of how would you describe how would you describe his style? Because some people say, you know, you have different aspects to your game, but um, do you think he's kind of just comes one way, or how would you describe his style? Um, his style is definitely just one way. You know, he, he's never really made much adjustments. He's, he's a warrior. You know, he, 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 that style works for him. But, you know, he's just the one, one plain old style. So, I mean, he's just going to come forward like he always does. You know, he hasn't really switched it up. He hasn't proved to us. To us so, it's only, it's only a fact. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you've been the one to, to change things up in both fights. He's kind of been able, fought the same way both times. Once it worked for him, and the second time it didn't. So with that being said, what does Mike Alvarado have to do in this third fight to take that 2-1 advantage? Um, I've learned so much th these last few fights. Um, Marquez, Probanikov. Um, I've learned how to keep those adjustments. And I've, I've learned how to, uh, those learning experience taught me the skills and, and those type of predicaments and those situations that, that I encounter in those type of fights. I learned how to, to use those adjustments that, that, I've, that I'm still learning. So um, I haven't been at my best and, you know, I'm still, I'm still fighting with myself to get at peace of knowing, hey, you were at your best, you know, so. Um, you know, I'm going to get in there and make the adjustments I need to make. You know, I, I already know the style that Brandon's going to bring to the table. I've already laid out the blueprint. Now, you know, it was on me to sharpen up the, the skills that I already have to make those adjustments for the blueprint to go my way again. With the hype and the expectations from your first two fights, uh, do you think that this third one can, can live up to that? Sometimes after everyone's built up so much anticipation, so much so much hype, do you think that this third one uh, can and will live up to, to the uh, expectations? It, it can, you know, depending on how this how this fight turns out, you know, and the way it goes and the way this fight turns into, you never know. Um, there's only one way to find out, and that's to tune in and see. But, um, you know, my I'm just, Gonna plan on sticking to my game plan and, and box this fight and, and win. Just want to win. You know, this is a crucial time in my career where you know I, I need a win in this time around. So a must win. I need a must win, definitely. Or what? Or else, you know, back to the drawing boards and it's not gonna be on, on a level where I belong. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. All right, Mike. Thanks. You. We'll see you uh, tomorrow at the weigh-in. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Mike.